Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to save battery life and speed up your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. These are a couple of different tricks and they do vary on carrier. So just know that, that if you don't have all of these, still do most of them and they will substantially increase your battery life two to three hours per day. So let's get started with the first step. So most of these are gonna be found in settings and then a couple will be in different areas. First and foremost, we're going to go to Wi-Fi and that is the new Wi-Fi power saving mode. So under Wi-Fi, you wanna to go to advance and then turn on Wi-Fi power saving mode. This is just, just basically going to use Wi-Fi analysis to basically make your battery life better when you're under Wi-Fi so it's gonna last longer. Next, we're going to go, since we're already here, to location. And then we're going to go to improve accuracy. And you're going to turn Bluetooth scanning off. This is not really needed. And the worst part about this is it makes it so you have Bluetooth scanning on even when your Bluetooth is off. So your Bluetooth is never really off. So that's an important part. Now we're going to go back and we're going to go to display. And from here, you're gonna swipe down and you're going to go to edge screen. Now, it's up to you if you want to use either one of these. Uh, I believe they're on both by default. I think I did turn that one off already. But edge panels and edge screen, you can see what each of them are here. Uh, but this does use battery life. So if you don't wanna use this, turn it off. And you can see what each one is if you go into the section and see all of the different things that these can do. So I do advise you do that to learn about it before you decide if you want it or not. Next thing you're going to do is go to advanced features. And in advanced features, there is a couple of things that I always recommend doing when in this screen. First, uh, I do recommend for battery purposes, you go to turn all of these off. So turn swipe to uh, capture off, that allows you to swipe your hand. And again, on any of these, if you have any questions about it, you can tap on the left side of it and see exactly what it is and what it does. Uh, I would turn direct call off, smart alert off, I would turn off easy mute. I turn this one on, the swipe to call sender. I do like that feature. Uh, direct share is optional, won't help or hurt either way. Uh, Touchscreen sensitivity is good, especially if you are using a screen protector, so make sure you have that on if you do have one. And video enhancer will not up your battery life, but I usually turn it on just because it makes your videos look good. But if you wanna know that, make sure you check out our other video on first things to do when you set up the phone. Now from here, we are going to go to developer options. So in developer options, uh, how to get it, first of all, is you go to about phone, and then you go to the software information, and then here you hit build number repeatedly. So you're just gonna hit build number repeatedly, and there you have it. Once you have that done, you will then go to developer options. In develop options, you're gonna swipe all the way up until you get to the drawing category. And here it is, the drawing category. So you're gonna go through these three things that say animation and scale, and you're gonna change each of them to 0.5. This is going to speed up your phone. You're basically telling it, hey, I know you can do all these different animations in a second, but I want you to do them in half a second so that you can already see it moves a lot quicker uh, just by everything you're doing. Next thing we're gonna do is remove the built-in apps. Now this might seem obvious, but if you didn't know, you can actually remove all the built-in blower. And when I mean all of it, you can either uninstall or disable it. Why disabling is so important is because even if you are not using it, it still is eating up things like your RAM. So this is why you wanna get rid of it. So on any of these apps, you just hold it down and you can disable or uninstall. So I recommend doing that for any of these that you do want to. And again, this will really save your battery life. That one can't be. So as you can see, I'm quickly getting rid of all of these and it's going to improve 
the overall performance of the phone. So most of these you can pretty much get rid of without needing to worry about anything. I would recommend being careful with Google apps, especially, uh, namely the G app, which uh, is going to work with a lot of things on your phone. So I do not recommend getting rid of that one. Play Store, obviously, and uh, those are the main two I would say do not get rid of under any circumstances. Okay, now you're also going to go to device maintenance, and these are some of the biggest ones. So make sure you pay attention uh, for this part. First thing we're gonna do is always have it auto restart. So how we're going to do that is hit these three dots, hit auto restart, and set a date and time when you want your phone to auto restart. What this will do is actually make sure that your phone is auto restarted once a week, every week. This is really important because it actually makes your phone run a lot faster and smoother. So doing this will dramatically help your phone in terms of how it operates overall. So this is a very important thing. If you're not turning your phone off once a week, this will help you a lot. Ideally, I would say two times a week is what you want, but this does it at least one of those times. And then the final big thing that really helps you out with your battery life is under device maintenance and battery. You scroll all the way to the bottom and you see always sleeping apps. What this is, is basically any app you put in here will not be able to run in the background. The reason why this is so important is because so many apps that you do not need to run in the background. Say like these three, these three are benchmark apps. I do not need any of these to run in the background. Uh, this one I don't need to run in the background. Uh, a video game, if you don't want it to run in the background, you can actually stop it from doing that. So any of these things you do not want to run in the background, you can completely do that. So just to give an example, I'm gonna do all the ones currently on this phone that I don't need. So yeah, basically anything you do not want to run in the background, it will not. And that will of course allow you to do a lot more. So that is a big thing. So now all of these apps will never run in the background, which will save you on RAM and battery life. So that is the best tips you can get to make this phone run really smooth, a lot faster than you normally do. Now there are lots of other things like namely, if you have a black background that will increase your battery life, uh, having um, auto brightness off and instead leaving it at about 70 to 80%, whatever your preference is, and just leaving it there so the sensor isn't constantly running on your smartphone. These are different things that will also improve your battery life. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you have any other tips that would help on battery life? Let me know. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.